So you want your pals to do this amount of damage. You want your pals to be stronger. You want them to be OP. Well, today I'm going to show you guys what you need to do in order to make them super duper powerful and become super duper saiyans. Let's go ahead and jump into it and talk about it. All right, guys. So there are multiple ways of you being able to make your pal super strong. I'm going to walk you step by step on what you need to do in order to get it done. All right. So the first thing you guys are going to need to do, guys, is capture pals. I right, for this video, I'm going to be showcasing my pal, which is going to be this guy right here, which is the Van Room. And I am going to make him super powerful. As right now, he is a level two. So we're going to walk right here. We're going to walk to the statue of power. Now, this statue, you can build one or you can find one in the world. Usually the one that's in the world is by churches. But in order for you to build one, we're going to go to the technology here. And within the technology tab, once you get to level six, you will be able to build a statue of power. The great thing about the statue of power, it gives you the ability to enhance your pals. As you see right here, if I go to him and I click on him, he will be able to get enhanced. Now, the great thing about this is that this will be able to get reset if you already have a pal that you maxed out or if you have it. So with that being said, we're going to enhance him. But before you enhance him, I want you guys to make sure that you get the correct one. Because if I show you guys right here real quick and I go to my pal box, it's going to be there's going to be a bunch of them uh, of these guys right here. Right. I have a lot of them. And you want to make sure you pick the correct one. I personally already picked the correct one. But if you guys haven't gone through like your pals and you want to make sure you pick the right one, you're going to want to make sure you do so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this one here so you guys can see exactly what, what I mean by here by being able to reset it. Okay, so we're going to go here. And we are going to go back to the statue. And we are going to power, power this guy up. So if you go to this one right here, you're going to notice this is a level 29. This one I already enhanced. But the great thing about this is that you're able to reset this, but it requires gold. So you're going to need 84,000 gold to reset it. But I did want to show you guys that there is a way to actually resetting this in case you already spent enough. That. Now, when you reset that, you get the souls back. Now, in order for you guys to be able to level up your pal, you're going to need souls. And souls are obtained by killing, uh, killing pals. And, of course, the more pals you kill, the more souls you're going to have for each individual pal. The higher tier the pals are, the more souls you are. There are three different types of souls. We have a blue one, a purple one, and a yellow one. And I'll show you guys exactly how this works. So, for example, this guy has a passive skill called Burly Body. This is going to give me a really good amount of 20% defense. So, right here for this one, guys, I'm going to increase his attack all the way up. And I wish there was a way for you to turn all the souls right at once, but you can't. So, you got to go one by one. And we're going to go enhance. And as you guys see right here, we're, we're enhancing this. And every time we enhance it, it asks for additional souls. So we're just going to keep doing that. And that's going to enhance it. And that's going to enhance it. Now it's going to ask me for purple souls. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to go yes right here. And then once we get to the, uh, after it asks you for three, it's going to go ahead and ask you for a yellow one. So you could only go to a plus 21 attack. After the plus 21 attack, you're going to need yellow ones. So if I were to do this one, it's going to put me to 24. And I would need definitely more yellow souls in order to get it maxed out. So we're going to max out his uh, HP as well. Because we are going to be using him for a very, very, very interesting boss fight. So you want to make sure he's uh, completely optimal here. And like I said, you just want to make sure you have enough souls before you do this. But once you find a pal that you really like and enjoy uh, and that you feel you're going to be using quite a lot, I would definitely recommend you, um, you know, you do as much as we do. So we're going to increase his defense. We're only going to use uh, blue souls for this one here. Just so he can be a little bit tanky. Not that, sorry. We're going to go here. All right. And then we're going to go here. And that's all we're going to... I keep pressing the wrong one. We're going to... That's all we're going to be doing. We're not going to be spending more, no purple souls. We're just going to be doing this one. And once it asks for purples, we're going to stop. Now, this is one method. So now that we look at this pal, this pal is actually pretty much set and he is ready to go. Now, there is another way to keep making him even more powerful. And that is by going to this pal condensation. Now, if you go to the technology tree, once you get down here, this pal condensation is actually not going to be in any of the blue sites. It's only going to be found within the purple side. Now, in order for you guys to be able to unlock this, you're going to be in level 14 and you're going to need ancient technology points. And these particular points are only obtainable by killing bosses 
are doing dungeons and killing the bosses inside of the dungeons. That's how you guys get these ancient uh, ancient points. And you are also going to need ancient civilization parts, which you get at the same way as well. So basically, just do a dungeon, do a couple dungeons, and you should be able to build this. Now, once you have this built, it's going to ask you to select a um, pretty much a pal, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to select the correct pal right here. And we're going to go here. And now we're going to have to use Essence of Pals. And the way you use Essence of Pals is you have to have multiple of the same pal in your inventory. Now, we're going to go ahead and enhance this guy. So we're going to go here. It's going to ask us for 16 because he's already enhanced once. So if I show you guys here, if I, let me go back out here and I go pick this one. It's only going to ask me for four because that means he's already, uh, he's barely a level one. This one right here, if I remove this one, and I go here, you're going to notice that this is a level 2. Now, the way you notice if they're level 2 or level 1 is by looking at the little star. As you see the star underneath them, it says there's, uh, none of the stars are highlighted. But if you look at this one, this one already has a highlighted star. So once you guys already leveled them up, it's going to give you an extra star. So it goes up to four different levels. Now, the first level is going to require a total of four pals of the same variant. The second level is going to require 16. So we're going to do this right here. It's going to turn all these pals in. And I wish there was a way to just say, you know, turn them all in. But I kind of understand why they did it. So you don't have to um, put in the wrong one here. So once we're done, it's going to go ahead and tell us how much it increased his maximum HP, how much his attack increased, and how much his defense increased. And it's also going to increase his aerial uh, mortar to a level 3 because it does increase that uh, skill as well when you do it so we're going to go ahead and okay and then just say okay now if you wanted to increase it even more you're going to need a total of 32 of them and that's going to move them up to level two it's going to move them up to level three and then if you want even more you're going to need to go ahead and get even more of them i think it's 48 to hit level four and it's going to make it extremely powerful but what you want to do is just keep collecting the pals and that is how you make them really stronger. Now, the other thing you're able to do with them is whenever you're fighting bosses, like for example, this one right here, if I go to my pal deck here, whenever you're fighting bosses and we go to him, which is the one that we're going to be using, you're going to be able to change this. For example, I'm going to go fight a boss right now that is uh, has fire damage, okay? So I am going to include and put everything to fire, but since you've been using him, you will be able to swap skills to make sure that that player or that character is optimal for that particular build that you're going to do. So that is how you guys want to go ahead and make your characters pretty OP. Now, one recommendation I would do is when you're doing characters, make sure that you guys are going to go click here where it says Alpha Pals and you enhance the Alpha Pals because the Alpha Pals are a little bit more powerful than your standard Pals. Especially if you have Lucky Pals, you're going to want to make sure you level up the Lucky Pals because those are going to be the ones that are going to be doing a lot of damage. Or you level up, guys, the, the ones that are Alpha. If you want to find out how to get Alpha Pals, you're definitely going to want to make sure you check out my video on how to farm them so you get really powerful uh, you know, Pals really fast and really easy so that with that being said let's take show you guys a little showcase of how much damage they're doing just at level two